all if you know that God is the champion in your life you ought to lift up your voice and begin to give him worship come on if you know that he's the champion in your life you ought to begin to lift up your hands open up your mouth and worship him come on it's easy to it's easy to run around the church it's easy to jump and shout but it takes a relationship with God it takes you knowing what he's done for you to worship him just reflect on the times that you could have and should have and would have lost your mind think and reflect on the times that you would have should have and could have died but God swooped in just in time and gave you another victory come on come on come on we're here to celebrate life that's enough reason to worship God come on I'm, I'm looking for some more worshipers on this side of the church I'm looking for some more worshipers on that side of the church. Come on. Come on. That's the problem. After the music stops, our praise and our worship stops. But when God rescued me, there was no worship there. There was no music there. When God rescued me, there was no praise dancer. There was no mima there. Come on. Begin to open up your mouth and reflect on the times that you could have. You should have. You would have. You almost but the grace and the mercy of God. Come on. Come on. We give you all the all over the sanctuary and see we give you
assist of the music, we give you all the glory, say, we give you Praise with me and for me while I'm alive, while I can participate. Yes, brother. Hallelujah. Tonight we truly do honor God. We honor the angel of this house, the chief apostle, Dr. William Richard Harrell Jr. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Thank God for here. Thank God for the fragrance of this house, our lady, Dr. Joanne Harrell. Y'all can do better than that. Clap your hands and give God praise for her. Many names to call, but it's already 10 o'clock. So to everybody in their respective places, God bless you, all the children of God. We thank God for you. To my lovely wife, God bless you. Appreciate you for being here. Now, let's, everybody that's got feet, let's stand on our feet and honor this man of God that we're celebrating tonight, the honoree, none other than our minister. Anthony 
Xavier Sidler. Those of you that are in the vestibule, if you have to go, we thank you for coming. But if you don't, we ask that you will come in and let's have one big service together. Amen. 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 It's no point to come to the church and we have one service in here and y'all having a whole other service out there. Amen. And we want to celebrate this man of God together in one setting and in one mind. Amen. 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 Grab your Bibles tonight. We're going swiftly to the word of the Lord. It's already... 10 o'clock and it's not my intention nor my desire to hold you here long. I know people got church in the morning and Amen. black folk will get up and walk out no matter how good you preach it. They'll get up and walk out when they're ready to get up and walk out. They'll get up and walk right out. They'll look in your face. I'm leaving and walk right on out. So I don't want, I don't want to feel like y'all walking out on me tonight. Praise the Lord. But let's grab our words. Go swiftly to the book of Acts. I know that I am a prophet, but let me make a public service announcement tonight. If you came for a prophecy, this is the wrong service. I came to encourage the honoree, the man of God. Now, if the Lord leads me and speaks to me uh, otherwise, then that's a different story. But you should never come to somebody else's party looking for something. Amen. You should never come for somebody else to somebody else's party, Amen. somebody else's service. I'm not I'm coming because I need a prophetic word. No, the problem is we we've, we've gotten addicted to prophecy. We've become prophecy junkies, so much and so that the word just don't do to us no more. But the strongest form of prophecy is the word of God. So if you didn't come for the word of God tonight, then I'm not, I don't know what else to give you because all I have to give you tonight is the word of God. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the honoree's wife tonight, our sister Precious Sidor. Thank God for our little sister Serenity. Amen. Amen. Her, her birthday was on Sunday. Everybody's birthday just so close together. Mm -hmm. Apostle, I ain't, uh, ain't anybody get a gift yet because I'm broke. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I got. I have a wonderful job, but I also have a wife, and you know, wives. Amen. She she love a wig, a praise the Lord wig, and makeup and all that good stuff. So um, uh, by the time that check comes, it be gone. Praise the Lord. But um, we thank God for it. <laughs> everybody's birthday just so close together. Praise the Lord. I just get so conflicted. Praise the Lord. But we thank God for her. We thank God for. The Bible says that if you train up a child in the way that they should go, when they're old, they won't depart from their teaching. So we thank God that she's in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. When you have the word Acts, we're going to the 27th chapter, very familiar passage of scripture. I'm going to ask that you would stand on your feet tonight. Uh, this is a very short passage of scripture. I'm not going to belabor your patience nor your time. Uh, my allergies are acting up. And to me, I sound like a 12-year-old child. So I'm not going to annoy you tonight with my sinusy voice. I'm going to do what the say of the Lord and I'm going to get out of your way. Because my sinusy voice is getting on my nerves, praise the Lord. So I know it's working on somebody else's nerves. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me say this before I get into the word. If I look like a telephone pole, as wide as you are, when you come on the block, we can't see none of the telephone poles. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's good when 